Hear me. Why is it that men of God are powerful? And I want to show you why men of God have got money more than their congregations. Have you ever noticed that if you're a pastor, you would know one thing. It's not every pastor with money. Less than 1% are the rich ones. Yes. Why? Because we found out the secret. The secret is never the offering and the tithing because it's nothing. The secret is we don't do fundraising. We do men raising. We raise men. And those men's lives are changed. Your problem is you're trying to find the money. Raise somebody. Mentor somebody. Direct somebody and that person will come. Up to this day, this, this year alone from January to, to, to yesterday, I believe, he was given 540, right? 500,000. 500, How much? 400,000. 400,000 now? Yes. Okay, 400,000. Now imagine. That he has given to me directly. Ah. Don't be jealous. Now, I was, I was putting the birthday into it. But I understand. Last year, him and his wife, 1.5 million. Yeah. To me directly. Hey, you are sitting there now. Hey. Are, you, are you getting this? This year to this church, Honorable Scott Sakpanya has given what? 600,000 US dollars. Now, now let's calculate now. Your offering here, where, where are the offering people? Where are they? How much per Sunday your offering? Please. It's less than a thousand dollars. Yes, we will count it today in front of you. If we are going to survive like that, this building now has been valued at 18 million. Where are we getting this money? There are very few people here that we have raised to some level that can't forget. And I'm just giving you this view. And this is Harare. We have not even touched London. Look at you. Are you getting this? So imagine you are sitting there. You are thinking, how do I get money? Number one, what will close your eyes is your knowledge of the spiritual realm. Number two is the knowledge that they teach you. In a few minutes, I want to show you what controls all this. So if the principles you are using are principles that are not from the word, you will remain broke. You will rise from one area to the other and you'll be thinking, God, but please, God, if I can only get a revelation, if I can only get my uncle to remember, he will not remember you. I have prophesied now as a prophet. And those who are feeling they want to go home, they are afraid maybe you did not lock the door. I am prophesying now. The thieves have already stolen. Stay here. One, two. Ecclesiastes 9, one, verse number one, 11. I return. And I saw under the sun that the rest is not to the swift, nor of the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding. I good news to you, family. Good news to you. I welcome you to our good news prophetic daily devotional message for today by the prophet to Christianity, the highly esteemed prophet Hubert Angel and the president of the Good News Word, Madam Prophetess B.B. Angel. This is not just a prophetic word for you. These messages I constantly share with you, they are the messages of the hour. And today's topic, or today's, uh, today's title is Worker Bees. Worker Bees. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, 
chapter 2 verse 26 I'm using the King James Version for God gave it to a man that is good in his sight wisdom knowledge and joy but to the sinner he gave it travail to gather and to heap up that he might he may give it to him that is good before God this is also vanity and the vestige vestition of spirits work bees toy tirelessly to produce the most delicious honey not only do they collect nectar and transform it into honey but they also are responsible for packaging and protecting the precious resource despite their immense if effort in honey production they are only allowed to consume enough to continue <laughs> laborious work this is the story of the sinners who tried to accumulate wealth little did they know did they realize their efforts are meant to bless you According to the Bible, every sinner is unknowingly working for the benefit of God's righteous hairs. God allows sinners to gather and amass riches, assigning them a life of hard labor, just so they end up turning their wages over to God's favorites. The riches they work are for are meant for the righteous, the Christians. God will carefully orchestrating God was carefully orchestrating these worker bees to store up wealth specifically for you. This is the year you have been waiting for. Use every opportunity to harvest every honeycomb mm, that has been safeguarded for this very moment and take over all that has been stored up for you. Let me take the last paragraph again. The riches, the work the work for are meant for the righteous the christians god was carefully orchestrating this worker bees to store up wealth specifically for you this is the year you have been waiting for use every opportunity to harvest every honeycomb that has been safeguarded for this very moment and take all over all that has been stored up for you in Jesus name amen so now let's read our prophetic declaration for today you join me to read you follow me to read or you read after me I am God's favorite I boldly claim every channel of wealth that has been protected for me every channel of blessing is producing at its highest level for me this year in the name of Jesus Christ amen and so shall it be for you your family and your loved one in Jesus Christ's name amen so for further reading and for further studies you read the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22 and our 365 days bible reading challenge your scripture my scripture our scripture for today is taken from the prophet ezekiel 
chapter 34, chapter 43, 44, and 45. God bless you for making time to join me to read the good news daily. But remember, you shouldn't waste the message. You know, if you have a good news daily devotional and you don't share it, what you are doing is that you are wasting the message. Share it to your friend, your loved ones, your family, your mates, your schoolmate, workers. Make sure you don't waste the message. Remember, as I always said, that the good news prophetic daily, according to the prophet angel, is a prophet in writing. So when you don't give the right people who are in need of this prophecy to read it, actually you are denying them of their prophecy and you are wasting the message. Don't be a waster of the message. God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. God bless you. Shalom.